Hey everyone, this is Stalini. So, this is going to be Earth Sign Reading. Now, if you want daily readings, check my TikTok, Priestess Stalini. Information below. If you want a reading, email me. Information below. Stalini Psychic Advisor at gmail.com. I'm going to get right into this reading, Earth Signs. So, let us see. What is going on for my Earth Signs? First, I'm going to do Capricorn. You can timestamp below. Feel free. So, let us see. What does my Capricorn need to know? What does my Capricorns need to know right now? Emperor. Three of Wands. Nine of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Sun card. By the way, check my community tab because I do post specials from time to time and quotes and things. Now, Capricorn, I see somebody coming forward to you. This person could be really mature. Um, they're in their emperor energy, so they know exactly what they want. You were waiting on this. They were planning and plotting. They were trying to, like, figure things out, okay? Some of you, this person might have to travel, travel to you. There might be some type of distance, um, with the Knight of Cups, they're coming to you with, like, a very real, sincere offer, Capricorn. This person wants to propose to you. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, this person knows exactly what they want. Things were not lucky for them. I feel like you're their lucky charm. Some of you Capricorn might be getting pregnant with this person, okay? So Capricorn, you're going to be really happy. Like the Sun card is the best card in the deck besides like the Ten of Cups. The Sun card is like my favorite card. Really happy. And we're in Leo season, so something could transpire in Leo season. Um... Readings are timeless, you know, but I am getting very summer vibes. So this person could be coming forward any moment to pursue you. And they, you know, they want this fresh start. You know, they want this abundance, this joy, this happiness. They're going to be very protective of you. I feel like you have spirit babies that are very protective. Look at that red. It reminds me of Archangel Michael. Some of you guys live in a city. Um, this person, like I see so much yellow here in the cards. This person really is coming and they're going to like just make you like so elated. Like they're going to ask you out. They're going to really like want to take things to a new level. So whoever this person is, they don't want anyone else. They're like solely focused on you. So you have to know that like, and I feel like you were waiting for this. Like you were like, okay, where's my ships? Where's my peace? You've been waiting for your ships to come in. So tell me more about this person for my Capricorn. Yeah, they, um, they were struggling they're going to message you. They were going... They can't keep their feelings inside anymore. They were really feeling overwhelmed with this. And you're going to die. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Cups again. <laughs> so if you needed a confirmation, Capricorn, there's your confirmation. Um, Wow, Capricorn. Yeah. Definitely a romantic proposal, and definitely this person's like head over heels for you. They're in like la la land. This reminds me of like love potions, mm. like Harry and Harry Potter when um, Ron has a love potion on him. I don't know, some of you watch Harry Potter. I grew up with Harry Potter, so anyway, Knight of Cups vibes. Page of Wands. This person's gonna send you a flirty message, you're gonna 
flirt with you and, you know, they're going to be playful when they do send you that message, okay? So, Capricorns, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to know more, book a personal reading. This is just a general reading. All right, Capricorns, now let us see what my Tauruses need to know, okay? So, Taurus, what does you need to know? Now, Taurus, check my community tab for specials. Tower card. Queen of Wands, Taurus, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, so Capricorn got romantic proposal as well. Um, Taurus, someone is going to surprise you. They're going to like come in real passionate. They literally look at you like as one of the most beautiful beings that they no, like, they see you as someone who's very attractive, who's very, like, alluring and passionate and mysterious. They're fantasizing about you, Taurus, and they're thinking about what to do to approach you. Now, this could be a secret admirer, Taurus, that you don't even know about, and you're going to be like, wow, like, you're going to be like, damn, I didn't know you liked me like that, or where'd you come from? Um, Taurus, you're going to meet this person, and it's just going to happen, like, it's going to be faded, basically, it's going to be, like, sudden, and, um, Taurus, they're going to really, like, want to take you out i'm not even gonna clarify because this is very to the point all right so next i have my virgos virgos what do i need to know about you what does my virgo need to know Virgos, if you want to have a reading, email me. Check my community tab for specials and quotes and stuff. Seven of Swords. Hmm, Virgo. What's this about? All right, Virgo. So this is not like a bad Seven of Swords. So someone's being secretive. Virgo, you are very secretive. Um, this could be your energy or this could be the person that you're interested in. Page of Pentacles. So Virgo, you or um, you're giving like you're giving a love offer, Virgo, or you're getting a love offer. OK, so the Divine Masculine Virgo, you're giving this love offer and you're not like letting anyone know. The Divine Femme Virgo, you're getting a love offer. Someone's going to ask you on a date and they're going to want to be in a relationship with you. So Virgo, you are going to jump into a whole relationship. If you're not already in a relationship, if you are, then it's just going to ascend to another level. Virgo, you could be dealing with a pregnancy with this person. You could also be dealing with an earth sign, a water sign. Um, doesn't have to be, but Virgo... Yeah, you're definitely going to be going on a date with this person and you're going to be like keeping this quiet. Um, this is going to end up in like a whole marriage situation. This is going to end up in like living together, Virgo, um, moving in together. This is going to be really successful. Okay, so let me clarify a little even though it's very to the point and I feel like you're going to want to keep things secret Virgo because there's a lot of jealousy around ooh so Virgo you have to make a choice 
things are gonna go in your favor and you're gonna get truth and clarity with the situation you're gonna get a victory so regardless there's gonna be a long conversation here virgo and tables are turning in your favor and once that decision is made virgo you're gonna have blessings with this connection like there's gonna be major blessings here and you're gonna just lay it all out on the cards you know you're gonna lay your cards out and you're gonna lay it out on the table and just be real and you're gonna have a long conversation virgo so very interesting um like this video for me and i'll talk to you soon bye